All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to uh, attempt to do a rock pattern texture handle on this uh, mini scout. So I had a customer uh, request it. I do a lot of, I don't know if you guys have seen any of the uh, like scalloping pattern that I do that has more of a, you know, it's kind of precise how I lay it out. Um, this is going to be more of a random like rock pattern texture. So the, this is a G10 yellow liners with brass hardware. Um, and I haven't ever, I haven't ever done this before. So I thought it'd be cool to do a little video on how I kind of figure out my way of doing it. I've got a little piece of scrap G10. And I think what I'm going to try to do is I put my half inch contact wheel on here, uh, this it's in the horizontal position here so i can kind of get up to it and uh watch it close and kind of see it's got to be kind of random and uh but i'm going to practice on this little piece i put a two or a 120 grip belt on i think when i do it on the knife i'm probably going to do a 220 because i i want the finish to be done i don't want to have to go back over and hand sand any of it and i think a 120 is going to be a little too coarse uh but at at least kind of let me figure out if the design and pattern is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and try that and see how it turns out. Uh, probably run it pretty slow, like maybe 30% power and uh, just see how it goes. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Uh, that 120 belt cut super easy um, so I definitely will be able to get away with a 220 but uh, I don't know I just kind of tried to do a random oh yeah it looks pretty cool um, so that's what it kind of came out like I think that's going to be cool my, my uh, worry was when it comes to texturing the brass on there I didn't want it to be, I don't want it to be super coarse and where you see all those grind lines, but I think if I do it at with a 220 grit belt, I think it'll be pretty cool. I don't know. But this, so basically with this, I just have it profiled. I wanted to add, you know, because I always add some profiling in here to make it comfortable. I thought I'd add that before I add that rock pattern. And I left quite a bit of meat between the black and the yellow liners um, just to be able to get some good, uh, depth with those, with the rock pattern. So I guess, uh, let's go for it and see what happens. All right. Wish me luck. I switched, I actually switched out my contact wheel for the size up from the one I just tried. Um, I think this one's maybe three quarter inch or like the step up from a three quarter inch contact wheel, just in case you guys are curious. So uh 220 grip belt let's uh see what happens I just did, let's, I'm gonna oil this a little bit so you can see what it looks like. I think uh, it's pretty cool. The key I, I'm seeing is you kind of have to hit, hit every spot of the knife. Don't leave any flat where, you know, it hasn't been hit by that small wheel attachment. It seems like uh, it gives it a pretty cool finish. And I'm just hitting it with just a little bit of oil so you can see the texture better and uh, pretty cool actually for my first try at it let's see
So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. If I should do some more like that in the future. It, I haven't done this side yet. But uh, it's it feels actually, it gives a real good grippiness. It's not, it's not um, like too coarse to where it's hurting your fingers at all. It, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot actually. So, and you can see like that brass, it's, it, it doesn't look fantastic, but doing it with that 220 grip belt at least makes it smooth to where it's, like I said, it's not catching anything. And uh, I think it kind of looks cool. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish up this side. And then I'm going to hand sand all my, uh, the spine down here to just get that, get that yellow to pop. There you can kind of see what I did as I cut it in. And I'll probably round, I'll round this over just a little bit when I'm hand sanding. Uh, but just because it does right where those scallops start, it's a little sharp, you can see. So I'll probably hand sand these over starting with 120 up to probably 400 or something like that. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, that's going to be the video for today. Uh, there's G10 dust all in the air. I should probably have my mask on still. Um, drop a comment below with some uh, new ideas for future videos. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this. All right, guys, thanks. Okay, wait, last tip. I On the other side, what I did is I put one main like scallop on each pin. I don't know if you guys can see. So it's smooth. Like you could see earlier, I hit, there was a couple different scallops going through the pin. It looked a little funny, so I just went ahead and hit the pin itself on that small wheel until it was smoothed out. And I think that's gonna give it a little bit, little bit cleaner look. So, all right, that was just a quick tip that I just figured out.